I truly believe in 2019, 2020, if the truthers get out there and go door to door, we can change the tide. Oh. Okay. Well, I believed that. Hello, and welcome to Night Chat. So the question is, are Americans going to wake up in time to avoid the devil who's coming to collect? That's the question of the day, the question of the century. Now, a lot of truthers online, a lot of them have, what, wow, I mean, I get like five views, and you got truthers that get 35,000 and a million views, and they won't say anything about prosecution. I mean, when you have criminals running the government that are out of control, that are violating the Constitution, violating human rights, violating the world in general, let alone their own people, the American people who put them in power and who pay for their fancy suits and their fancy limos. Makes, makes us wonder like, what is going on. See what happened, and, and, I, and I have to just warn you, is that America, for the first time in America's history, has turned their back on God the Creator. And when you turn your back on God, He'll take away the hedge of protection. So the hedge of protection of God, I believe, has been t taken off of the nation of America. I mean, we have, I, I, don't, I don't know the number, I heard 50 million abortions in the last 30 years. That's 50 million murdered babies. Our leaders have been invading countries, killing innocent families. And just try to tell them to step down and watch as they laugh in your face. Because see, this is not the America it once was. The leaders, along with DARPA, along with the CIA, and they're running these black programs against the American people, known as gang stock, and I call it terrorism. It's terrorism. It's terrorism. And I think they jumped the shark. I think they over jumped the shark. Now you have you have hybrids leading the nation at the top. I, I, I definitely believe they're hybrids. So they're not working with the aliens, they are the aliens. Crawley opened up the portals, he allowed these demonic, back in the 1920s, he allowed these demonic entities to come through. Uh, abductions began to increase by 1960s. And David Jacobs did an estimate, well, he did a survey and realized that 300 million Americans, no sorry, scratch that, 300 million people worldwide claim to have been abducted by alien greys. It's always the same thing. It's a baby <laughs> spawning program with a, it's a laboratory, it's a rape. The human woman gets pregnant, and the baby that's half alien and half human ends up vanishing. 
the last 70 years, it's became epidemic. Then in the 90s, you had people's victims that said they were abducted by aliens, saying they found implants in them of strange material from the alien ships. The new thing is, people that go to doctors and hospitals and the dentists, now they're saying that the doctors and the hospitals and the dentists are putting implants in the patients, secretly. Keyword, secretly. The missing babies that have vanished over the last 70 years from the UFOs that are, I, I believe they're, they're more human. That's why they look more like humans in, in the time of Noah. But I believe they uh, have been placed into powerful positions in the government, in Hollywood, in the music industry, to politically, religiously lead us into a certain direction as they get ready for the satanic rise of the Antichrist and the one world order which is prophesied inside the Bible. It's funny how truthers don't believe in Jesus Christ, but they'll tell you there's a devil, there's demons, there's fallen angels, there's alien graves, there's an antichrist, there's a, a one world order, all that's in the Bible. But there's no Jesus, is what they'll tell you. But let me tell you, there is a Jesus. He is Lord of Lords, He is God of Gods. He's the creator of every universe and every galaxy that goes on for infinity. He created you and me, and he's a very holy God, and that's what they don't want you to hear. Now it's important you get this right as a truther, because you're not going to get this on most of the truthers' channels, and it's, it's vital to your survival, because, was it MUFON? popular study of alien abduction say that when a person cries out for Jesus Christ, the abduction stops. Now, they're demonic, fallen, angelic beings, and their children are now on the earth, and they believe they're the real humans, and they're going to take us over, and they're going to inherit the earth. But the Bible tells us otherwise, and I think they, they know it, because the Bible's always been true, it's always been correct, it's prophesied everything I've said, and everything they said came true. In the popular study, it says that when a person cries out for Jesus Christ, the alien abduction immediately stops. So what's coming our way is physical and demonic in nature. So when people call out for Christ, it stops. So if this demonic energy is coming, you cry out for Christ, and it'll stop. That's why the elite are financing all the new Bibles, taking out scripture pertaining to Christ, because they know it's a weapon, and they're trying to disarm you. The same way a gun will kill a human, even a hybrid, is the same way the word of God will kill a demon. It'll, it'll knock it right on its ass. Now, over the years, they went from taking over the top of the government to coming down to the bottom of the government. Now they're in charge of our major hospitals, our major police departments, the CIA, Homeland Security, these are the hybrids of fallen angels, offspring, that are running our nation. And I'm sorry to tell you that you might want to pack your bags if you have enough money and get out of the nation before things get really nasty because I got a feeling it's going to really start here. Because America is a superpower and if you're going to invade any country, 
if you're, if you're an alien coming from a different dimension, I mean a space alien, you'd want to invade the number one nation on the planet. I mean, this is where it's quiet, where it's more peaceful. Of course the hybrids are going to be here. I believe the majority of the hybrids are here in America. They even said there's more alien sightings, UFO sightings here in America, which have increased since the year 2000. There's always a demonic human sacrifice that's linked to the people that run the nation, that's linked to the UFOs, that's linked to the gray aliens. They want you to believe it's a gray alien sci-fi takeover, but it's really a religious fight between God and the devil. Well, thanks for watching, and you want to get your heart right with Jesus Christ. Follow the Ten Commandments. Plus, you want to forgive your enemies, and you want to pray daily to God, and it's important once you start walking with God to get baptized, and I mean completely submerged underneath the water. God bless everybody out there, and we'll see where this development takes us. Mm-hmm. <laughs>